Yeah, we've all been there. We've put the work in, we swim regularly, and still, for some reason, our swim times just won't get faster. Well, today, we're here to help you try and figure out why your swim might not be improving. Swimming is rewarding and a great form of exercise. In fact, just going to the pool and swimming can be rewarding in itself. You stay fit, you may feel better, and maybe even look better, except for those pesky goggle marks. And of course, it'd be far more rewarding if you actually got faster for all of that hard work. And if your goal is to do a triathlon or a swim event, then obviously getting faster is the entire goal. So if you are pulling your hair out because no matter what you seem to do, you cannot seem to be able to get any faster. Well, look no further because we have the answer. It may not be all of these, but I guarantee it's probably at least one of these. Now, if you are in that boat, you've been struggling with your swimming for some time, let us know in the comment section down below. What has it been? What have you been struggling with? And whilst you're at it, why not give this video a like and subscribe. So let's look at how the problem typically presents itself. You start swimming and really enjoy it. And you start to see some improvements very early on. Life is good, but then things start to plateau. No matter how hard you try, you cannot seem to swim any faster. You might be swimming at 150 per 100 or two minutes per 100, whatever it is, you seem locked into that pace. And no matter how hard you try, you can get your heart rate up, increased effort, amazingly, you still come in at the same pace per 100. It could be 200 meters or 2,000 meters, and you still swim at the same pace. This is incredibly common. You're not alone, but you can swim faster by doing these three things. Number one, improve your technique. Yep, swimming is an incredibly technical sport. If you just simply jump in and swim, well, you might see some improvements initially as you build fitness. Eventually, you will stop improving as your technique or lack of technique starts to limit you. And when you get to this point, further increases in fitness may allow you to swim further or for less effort or lower heart rate for the same pace. But your inability to apply force down through the water or to overcome the drag of the water will prevent you from swimming any faster. You are effectively fighting yourself through the water. And so you need to improve your technique so that with each stroke, you're able to pull more water all whilst the rest of your body is creating less drag. And to do this, you need to work on improving your catch, your pull, your body rotation, body position, your breathing, and of course, also your kicking. Kind of everything. Of course, it's all sort of easier said than done, and I'm not going to dive into detail on each of those today because that'll be a very long video. Fortunately, though, we've got videos on each of those elements you'll be able to find over on our channel. You can also seek the advice of an expert. Get them to check out your stroke, watch you swimming, and be able to highlight your weaknesses. And from there on, you can go forward with doing some drills to rectify that and some sessions, and you will get faster. Number two, vary your pace in training. Many people just jump in. If they've got 30 minutes available, they swim up and down for 30 minutes. And if you can swim at two minutes per 100, then guess what? You swim at two minutes per 100 for the entire 30 minutes. That is not the way to swim faster. In fact, it's a very good way of ingraining that pace of two minutes per 100 into you, making it incredibly hard then to vary from that or to swim faster. But of course, you also can't just jump in and swim faster than two minutes per 100 for a long duration like 30 minutes. You'd be ruined. That is why we need to split things up with a structured session. Even the best swimmers in the world will regularly break up their workouts into blocks of, say, 25 meters where they're swimming faster than this pace, taking a good rest and then going again. So this is obviously allowing you to swim faster, but all whilst holding your technique together over these shorter reps. Now you might want to start with something like four lots of 25 meters at this faster pace, but over time, you might want to look at building that up to something like 20 lots of 25 meters. So that would be 
500 meters at a faster pace than you're stuck at. And you might want to start doing that regularly in your training, and with that, you almost certainly see an improvement in your swim pace. Now, obviously, this is a simplified explanation and example session, but it's a good example of how structured training can help. And it's worth adding, it's not just the faster reps that can benefit you here. Actually, some of the slower efforts, perhaps the recoveries after these faster intervals, where you can really focus on your technique, you could see a big benefit too. So vary your pace, both faster and slower, and you will get out of that pace run. Number three, get more flexible and get stronger. And this one actually nicely complements the first two points by increasing your flexibility and your strength. It'll actually help with your technique and your ability to vary your pace while swimming. And the beauty of this is you don't even have to do it in the swimming pool. So you could start by doing some flexibility and mobility work outside of your swim sessions on the days that you're not swimming. And by increasing your range of movement, it'll actually hopefully decrease the effort it takes for you to move your arms through the whole stroke. You can also complement this with some strength work outside of the swimming pool, perhaps in the gym, or even with some simple items like dumbbells or a pull-up pull bar at home. But of course, there are also ways to work on your strength in the swimming pool too. You can pop some paddles on to your hands and therefore increasing the surface area of your hand and the amount of load that's going through your arms. You can also just simply pop a pool boy between your legs and that's therefore isolating your arms and again, the amount of workload going through those arms. Well, we hope today's tips have helped you get yourself out of that pace rut with your swimming. Let us know in the comment section down below if you have been struggling with your swimming for some time now, and perhaps if there are any magic answers or something you figured out with your swimming that has really helped, because it may help other people out there. Fear not, if you are struggling with your swimming, this is not the end of the line. We hope today's video has helped. If so, please do give it a th thumbs up, give it a like, and don't forget to subscribe.